A very warm good morning to all of you students. Today we are going to learn the last topic from chapter 3 nationalism in India. The last topic is the sense of collective belonging. In our last classes we have learned about the civil disobedient movement and the limits of civil disobedient movement all those who supported the movement all those details we have learned. Today in our last topic what we need to learn is sense of collective belonging. Now what does this topic teach us? The topic teaches us that Indians how they became one against the Britishers to fight against the colonial rule that is what we need to learn in this topic how Indians became one they had a belongingness that they belong to one nation. Now this feeling came through the points that we are going to learn today. Now first of all how did they fight against the Britishers through united struggles. They came together they were standing together to fight against the Britishers. Now whatever we learned in the last classes all that comes united struggles and also through cultural processes. Now what we are going to learn today is through cultural processes how they became one to fight against the Britishers. To make easy this topic I have put these points little differently rather than from your book. So first point that we learn here is that is symbols and icons. First point that is symbols icons. Second one is folklore and songs. Third one is popular prints and fourth one is history and fiction. So first one symbols and icons. Now some of the symbols and icons created in the hearts of the Indians a feeling of oneness that they are belonging to one nation and they have to fight against the Britishers whether they are in the north, whether they are in the south, whether they are Hindus, whether they are Muslims all became one. These symbols united them together. So the first symbol that we learn is symbol of Bharat Mata. Now when we speak about this Bharat Mata image was created firstly that is Pangim Chandra Chattopadhyay. He is the one who created this visual image of Bharat Mata. But later on and Abhindranath Tagore who painted this picture that is Bharat Mata image was painted. And when they saw the image of Bharat Mata they had already a feeling of or a sense of belonging that we belong to India. India is our motherland and we all of us are children of motherland. This is the feeling which he, the Bharat Mata image gave to the Indians. And now to speak more about this symbol, what did this image convey to the people when we look at the Bharat Mata image? Now Bharat Mata image is very calm, very composed and very divine and spiritual. When they look at this image of Bharat Mata, when they feel the goodness of our motherland, they felt that we belonging to one nation and we should fight against the Britishers. That is what the image of Bharat Mata, how help to unite the Indians together. This is one of the image. And second one is we will study about tricolor flag. When this movement protest against was protest was going on against the Britishers, the people themselves used some symbols to unite themselves. Now one of the symbol that was used is tricolor flag in Bengal. This was used in Bengal. Now during what movement it was used? This was used during the Swadeshi movement in Bengal. Now this tricolor flag had the color of green, red and yellow. These are the three colors, the tricolor flag which was used in Bengal during the Swadeshi movement had. And also it had eight lotuses, 
representing eight provinces of India and also a crescent moon was there. Three colors were there, eight lotuses were there and one crescent moon was there to represent that all are one, that Muslims, Hindus all are one and the eight provinces of India to represent this, they had this one. And you need to remember that this tricolor flag was used during the Swadesh movement in Bengal. Later on, Mahatma Gandhi also made Swaraj flag. Now, this Swaraj flag was used by Mahatma Gandhi and this flag had green, red and white color, green, red and white color and in the center it had a spinning wheel, it had a spinning wheel to show the self-help of work of Indians, that is what the, it symbolizes. So now under symbols and icons or images, these three things you need to remember. First one is that the image of Aratmata, second one is tricolor flag and third one is Swaraj flag and where it was used, during which movement it is used and who created these images, you should need to remember. And second one is folklore and songs. Now when we speak about folklore and song, it is the traditional stories, traditional customs which the uh, countryside people practices and they sing in song, they recite all these. Now what happened during this movement, some of the leaders, they went around in the countryside to collect these folklore songs. And when these folklore songs are played, it automatically created the feeling of belonging that we are one. Therefore, like Pandit Rabindranath Tagore collected these folklore songs by himself and he published. And again from down south, Natista Sastri, he was from south, he also went around collecting and he collected and published in four volumes. These both persons you need to remember when you are writing about the folklore songs. And third one is popular prints. In your book there are two pictures you will find. One is the Bandit Jawaharlal Nehru, another one is Bal Ganga. Both persons you will see in picture. In that picture you will see the prints like uh, picture of India, picture of Bharat Mata and picture of some religious symbols printed. Now when these print media came and people started to look at these prints, they also felt that we belong to one nation and we need to be united to fight against the Britishers. So this also gave, print, popular prints also gave sense of belonging. And last one is history and fiction. When we study about history and fiction, two things we need to remember. What is the idea of Britishers? and what is the idea of Indians. Now when we speak about uh, the British's idea of history of India, they regarded Indians as they are not able to govern themselves. That is what the idea of the British's. But when we speak about Indians, we had a glorious past. So what did the Indians do? Indians started to write about these glorious past before the British's came to India. When the Britishers came to India, this our glorious past is being destroyed because of the Britishers. So once again, what did the Indians do? Indians started to write these things in their histories that people, those who read it and they come to realization that India is, had a very rich culture of art and architecture, science and mathematics, all these fields we were flourishing religion and culture, law and philosophy, crafts and trade. These all flourished before the Britishers came. When the Britishers came, they hindered all these growth or development. Therefore, once again, the Indians started to write about this to make the people to unite as one to fight against the Britishers. Now, this is last topic that we learned in this lesson. To conclude what we should know, the nationalism in India, to get freedom, it was not easy. There were lot of struggles, through lot of struggles we got independence and there were 
problem within and this problem was always tried to be solved and as a result when people united together then it became successful that we got independence and these points read by yourself and you will understand very clearly thank you students